graphing radical functions, the most basic function of a square root function is a y equal the square root of uh, x or instead of y we can write uh, with the notation f of x is equal to the square root of x. First of all let's uh, create uh, some uh, table and to find some points of the graph. When we create uh, the table we always look uh, for square numbers because this is square root. If this is a cubic root we would like to find uh, some uh, cubic numbers and to plug in and later on to find uh, the values of f of x respectively values of y. In this case here we have a y is, uh, is equal to the square root of x so we are looking for some for some uh, square numbers and the square numbers is we take it from 0 1 4 9 and 16 and we can take uh, more points but since we need uh, just a few numbers to grapple the line we would pay attention just in these three or four numbers. So when we plug 0 instead of the x, y is going to be 0. So we have this point here. And when we plug 1 instead of x here, y is going to be with 1, which we can uh, plug this number in a Cartesian system here, 1, 1. And then when we take another uh, number, square number 4, and we plug here in under the square root, which is going to be 2. And this uh, order pair, we are going to graph in the Cartesian system. And it's here. And then we take in a 9, square root of 9 is 3. And those points we graph here on the, on the plan. And it's going to be 9 and 3. And then we just uh, graph uh, the line of the function through those points, which is uh, the red line. And this is the graph of the function y is equal to the square root of x. So whenever we, we create uh, the table and we want to graph uh, the function, we are going to look uh, for some numbers to plug here in the independent variable x that are square numbers. When we plug in under the square root or under the radical, then we get a whole number as a result. And this is uh, one of the easiest way how we can uh, graph or the function without uh, using a calculator because we already know which number are cubic numbers, which numbers are, for example, uh, square numbers, fourth numbers, etc. And this kind of, in this way, we can graph the function that are a function of the family of radicals. So now if we are looking for the domain, domain we know is in the x-axis and we already see here the line of the graph is here on the zero, from zero is, and is a from zero to infinity. So the domain and the range, the range we are looking in the y-axis and we look here from zero it goes to infinity because this function is goes forever as many value we plug in instead of the x domain x values and the y is going to be to go further and further higher and higher and is going to reach some sometime at some point infinity so the range is from zero to infinity and if you look if you are looking for end behavior as the x goes to infinity and f of x or y goes to infinity, it goes forever in this way.